Now, we'll take a look at error codes CH05, 237, and 53, which are all related to communication between indoor and outdoor unit. Before we describe these three errors, we will explain about communication modes. There are two communications modes in the Multi V5, Gen 2 and Gen 4. While Gen 2 works at 1,200 BPS, Gen 4 works at 9,600 BPS. To activate Gen 2 mode at the ODU, dip switch number 3 should be off, and for Gen 4, it should be on. The difference between these two modes is that through Gen 4, you can see the watt meter from the indoor unit, and two set points function is also available. The indoor unit will be initially set to Gen 4, and after the communication with the outdoor unit starts, the indoor unit's communication mode will be adapted and reprogram itself according to the state of the outdoor unit. Once again, if the outdoor unit is set for Gen 2, the indoor unit will be set for Gen 2 as well. And if the outdoor unit is set for Gen 4, the indoor unit will adopt Gen 4 mode. If there is no communication between IDU and ODU, the indoor unit will remain in Gen 4 state, regardless of the ODU communication mode. As we already mentioned, CH05, 237, and 53 are communication errors. And when the IDU and ODU are set in Gen 4 mode, CH05 indicates an error between the local modem and the main PCB of indoor unit. Meanwhile, CH237 indicates an error between the indoor unit's local modem and the outdoor unit's local modem. On the other hand, CH53 occurs when the outdoor unit's main PCB does not get any signal from indoor unit. When error CH05 occurs, first, check the connection between the indoor unit local modem and the main PCB. And second, check the local modem state and replace it if any malfunction is found. Finally, check the main PCB of the indoor unit, and if any defects are found, replace it as well. When replacing the main PCB, leave the optional PCB as it is. If the optional PCB needs to be replaced, please proceed with the auto address setting. Error CH237 occurs when communication between IDU's local modem and ODU's local modem fails. When this error occurs, you should check whether 485 communication cable is disconnected or badly connected or not fastened to the communication terminal block. Sometimes, it may happen that there is a damage in the IDU's local modem communication IC, which is connected to the ODU. And when the IDU and ODU are set in Gen 2 mode, CH05 indicates an error between the indoor unit main PCB and outdoor unit main PCB. When error CH05 occurs, first, check the connection between the indoor unit local modem and the main PCB. And second, check the local modem state. Third, check the 485 cable between local modems. Fourth, check outdoor unit's local modem. And finally, check the connection cable between the ODU's main PCB and local modem. Let's discuss about CH237 in Gen 2 mode of ODU. Sometimes, when IDU cannot communicate with ODU since power reset time, IDU remains Gen 4 mode even though ODU is set to Gen 2. In this case, CH237 will occur. Now, let's talk about error CH53. This error will occur regardless of the IDU and ODU being in modes Gen 2 or Gen 4. CH53 occurs when the ODU sends data to the IDU, but the ODU cannot receive any signal. When error CH53 occurs, first, you will need to check if the 485 cable between indoor and outdoor units is properly installed. 
Second, if communication cable is loosely or not connected to the block terminal. And third, check if there is any local modem or main PCB error. To solve these errors, start by removing the front panel from the outdoor unit and then disassemble the outdoor unit's control box. If indoor unit's main PCB is replaced with optional PCB, auto addressing is needed. To do auto addressing, press the red button on the outdoor unit's main PCB for five seconds and the auto addressing will begin when the number 88 comes on the screen. It takes from two to seven minutes until the setting is completely done. At this time, if three IDUs are installed, you can see the ID3, which displays the number of IDUs. Compare this number with the number of installed indoor units. Once the auto addressing setting has been completed, you can check that the indoor unit addresses 01, 02, and 03 are displayed on each remote control. Check if the 485 communication cable terminal screw is properly tightened to the indoor unit. This is the location of the outdoor unit local modem. If the green LED on the PCB is blinking, it is working properly. Measure the DC voltage across the communications terminals of the IDU's local modem. The value of the communication terminals should be between 1 and 5 volts. In addition, if the yellow LED on the local modem is blinking, it is normal. If there is a malfunction in the local modem, replace it. These steps should solve the problem. This video was made for educational purposes. It is intended for system air conditioning engineering only. LG Electronics does not take responsibility for any problem or danger caused by general users.